Hey, speaking of Ch- ChatGDP and OpenAI, um, they've got a couple of announcements that aren't available yet. <laughs> like a lot of different things that I've come questioning. And so they've got this voice mode and we know that they launched it with Scarlett Johansson's voice, even though Scarlett Johansson no, allegedly, said, allegedly, allegedly, yes, <laughs> definitely wasn't her. It definitely wasn't her, <laughs> but they've taken her out of the voices, <laughs> by the way. So like they're going to launch this and it's late. Um, and so a couple of comments here, this, this article we read says they start rolling out her light voice mode for ChatGPT, which they're not. Um, it's been delayed for a while, and then they're rolling out to special users, a very small user base. And they say they have four voices. I think they're the same four voices they had before. They are voice actors, and now ChatGPT will no longer create voices or use any like voices or generate any voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they though? <laughs> so I, I hearken back to the days when, like, Steve Jobs would get on stage and go one more thing and always the one more thing was real you know (laughs) and now we have the one more thing we have this voice like that's that was announced months ago still not ready and then they also have this thing that said hey we got search coming sign up for a wait list which i'm on the wait list like you know like i can't search with it yet when can i search with it we don't know we'll we'll tell you (laughs) and so like i'm wondering if they're just announcing things to keep these investors at bay saying hey we got more stuff going because if OpenAI could win at voice or win at, you know, search, that's kind of cool because real-time translation is a thing that I think people would pay for if you're a traveler or you go overseas a lot or something like that. It's kind of cool that it can do those kind of things. Now, yeah. conversing with it just in general, like Siri-like, that's already been determined that it's just okay. I mean, like, you know, a lot of times we turn the Amazon thing off, you know, like I'm not tired of it always coming well, on. Well, this, I think this you know, new version will be better because it's more real be time. I think the problem with it is like, I've, I've used the, the chat GPT voice thing for a while. The voice interaction yep. thing is, has been kind of good. I liked the previous, by the way, the Scarlett Johansson voice, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Scarlett Johansson voice um, was there before. And I used it all the time. It was the yep. best voice on it by a long shot. Even though it wasn't it real was. time, <laughs> it just was. Yeah, they put way more effort into it. I guarantee it. It just was good. Um, the one they replaced it with, terrible. Um, and it has four voices right now. And I, like you said, Bobby, I guarantee it's going to be the same four voices this thing launches with. Um, I think it's funny though that like the headline here is like starts rolling it out, but to a small number of people. And at the very end of this article, it then says they plan to bring this new model to GPT plus users in the fall. In the <laughs> fall. Not October. So it's like, 1st. hold on, can we get it or right. not? It's like, what is this? Are you rolling it out or are you not rolling it out? Right. It was June, then it was July, now it's fall. Like, I, this is, this is just, this is Elon's self-driving car. It's yeah. the same thing. It's always next year. It's vaporware. always coming soon. Vaporware. Always vaporware. It's always coming soon. I don't know why they just don't roll this out. What's what's the problem with it this feature hit the that bar it has to be yet. tested? And yeah. it's the security and like, there's a lot of problems with it, apparently. Well, yeah, clearly. <laughs> or it's really expensive to operate, Kevin. That's oh, my guess. That, <laughs> that one, there you see, go. That is 100% my guess that it is very expensive mm. to operate. Um, and whatever tricks it uses to make it feel real time is actually quite expensive to run. That's my guess. That makes 100% sense. Like kind of rolling back to our initial story. Do you think that they are trying to find a way to incorporate like ads or things like that to help offset those costs while they're doing search. Well, right. Like, and I don't know if they can beat them in search. Like we'll have to see, like, yeah. you know, the, the thing about search is you have AdSense for all of its people complain about AdSense. And when you really look at it and your objective, you're like, well, it's kind of the best one out there. You can target people. You can push the ad where you want to go Are all those clicks real. I don't know. That's kind of the internet. You know, it is, it's a cost of doing business. Um, But when you compare it to everyone else, it, they're, I mean, Twitter ads, not even close. Bing ads, not even close. I mean, like it's not even close as far as where you can target things like it does. I think Facebook has a similar setup. That's pretty good. We've, we've had good success with Facebook ads. Yeah. But on general search, not only do they have to win on search, but they also have to find a way to bring back the websites and make the, the websites actually relevant or there are no websites. And then who's right. selling, who's buying an ad for that. And then yeah. they've got to build an ad platform, which they haven't even talked about. And that means that Google will 
put AI in there, they'll put Gemini in it, whether it's as good as open AI, I don't think it really matters at this point. If it's in the 90 percentile, people will say it's good enough at this point. I don't think there's a big difference between these two LLMs at this point. Well, you know, I'd need to mess with the search product to see if it's actually even worth messing Doing. with, worth, yeah. worth having. Because look, look, look what Google's done, right? They're an existing search platform, and they put Gemini on it. Remember what happened then? People are like, this Gemini thing is useless. It's like, it's just like, it's just dumb. It gives me this AI generated summary at the top of my search that doesn't really do anything. And it's not always accurate. So I like, like, I no, exactly. I tested it for a while and I ended up ignoring it. It was just, it's one of those above the fold things you just like skip past. Cause you're like, I can't kind of trust that it's going to be right. And it doesn't really give me a whole lot, unless I'm searching for something very specific to an answer to a question, then that's maybe different. And maybe it works in that scenario. But they're going the other way around. They've got the AI part, and now they're trying to shoehorn search onto that. That's got to be more of a difficult problem to fix. I just don't see this being a good product. We'll see. And then, and that's the thing is like I'm I'm wondering what the board is telling the investors. Like search is going to bring us in, you know, five hundred billion dollars, which is what they need. Yeah, and, and this it's is like you know, um, we're going to take this about- much market share from Google and search. And if it doesn't happen, because a lot of times we've seen other people try this and if they don't get a kind of scale on this, the, the search product goes away because they can't sell ads if there's no one using it. And so like Bing has been trying that game for a long time. And the only reason it's still around is because Microsoft seemingly has infinite money, <laughs> but open AI is making them look at the wallet and go, I don't know if i got any more left here buddy like uh, sam we need to have a talk <laughs> so so clearly the search market is massive right yes. it, it, it's it's worth a lot of money yeah. right but here's the thing it's worth a lot of money to google because they dominate it right can somebody yeah. else take that away from them maybe but it's going to be very very difficult to do right so you, you're only looking at a percentage of search market if you can take it away what is a percentage of search market right versus getting to agi Surely AGI is the thing, right? That's the that's the world changing, dominating, like literal, like world humanity changing technology. But we're gonna do search in the meantime. It feels like such a like. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you a flying car, but for right now, I'll give you these plastic wings. <laughs> so you can kind of like kind of fly a little bit with them. Search is two hundred to two hundred fifty billion dollars a year in revenue for Google. Mm-hmm. Okay, but AGI is trillions. Maybe. What's it? What, no, what? no. If it is, if AGI exists, which they're saying they're going to, it is literal humanity changing technology. Right. Search isn't humanity changing technology. Mm-hmm. This is the, This is a whole other level up. This is like a million versus a billion. This is an exponentially bigger product, which they say they're working on. If you're working on this actual humanity changing product, why on earth are we talking about creating a search? I mean, do you remember, do you remember using the yellow pages and the uh, card catalog and encyclopedias? I mean, humanity changing search. (laughs) I think they're going after the largest market that they can go after to make money. I think they're trying to, I think they're trying to monetize up in AI. And I think that's why they're going for search. That's the large, that's the big one. That's that makes sense. Google isn't a company without search. Like they do have YouTube, Agreed. but like. Agreed. But my point is they've got a long hill to climb. Yeah, to do that. A, I mean, it's like your incumbent is pretty much in there. People have been got, marching up that hill a long time. Ex- like, yeah, <laughs> you've got to do something exceptional to un. I don't to, know like, if they can. They can unseat Google. Because they already have an AI too. They have one and they can make right. it just as good. That's what I'm saying. They've done the hard part. Now they're doing the easy part with the AI part. OpenAI is going the other way around. They've got the easy part with the AI. Now they're trying to do the hard part with search. And they don't have the ad network, which they got to build. They got to get all the providers in there. They got to get all those people, sign up all those contracts, and they've got to figure out a way to price ads and then figure out where do we display them. And does people make it's, – it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's tough to unseat them. Microsoft's been trying a long time to do it, and I just don't know if anyone can. I think those markets and they're they're like they're mon- they're an absolute monopoly as if you if they're if there isn't a true monopoly in the US Google search is the closest thing there is to monopoly. <laughs> I imagine they're 90 yeah. over 90% of search. Yeah. I mean I'm sure someone's buying an ad on on Google on Bing. You know someone is yeah. but you know but not many. But I just want to see companies 
announce something and roll it out. And that's, that's where today they're well, just announcing things. That seems to be the new kind of, I'm going to call it the AI grift. Yeah. Cause that yeah. feels, that's the, cause that's what it feels Sounds like to me. Right. It's like just announce something and then you try and sell something based on that announcement alone. Um, it's kind of from the Elon Musk playbook. I hate to keep bringing him up, but that's kind of like his MO. That's what he does. He announces things that never actually materialize and just keeps promising and promising and promising. And guess what that does? It keeps the money coming in. It keeps the people interested. It's the same thing here. I just have a feeling with ultimately for them, AGI being the ultimate AI grift that is just like, let's just keep mentioning it. We'll say we're working on it, but we'll just try and make money in the meantime, which is where this search play comes in. And that's my point is AGI is this thing, which I don't believe they, they think they're even going for. It's the ultimate like thing that'll never happen. Because you know why too? Actually thinking about this, he said he needs seven trillion dollars to get to AGI. He knows that number is unattainable. It's like we can't get there without seven trillion dollars. So just give me what you've got, and I'll keep working on it. Just just give me. I tell you what, I I, I know you haven't got seven trillion. Just give me ten billion. I'll tell you what, we'll just 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 I'll take ten billion instead. I'll keep working on it. It's the ultimate like dangling. It's the ultimate bait and switch, right? It really is. It's like I'm baiting you with this AGI thing, but I'll take this lesser amount. It's a common con man tactic, is what it is. <laughs> well, seven, there isn't seven trillion dollars in the world, I don't think. I mean, I don't know what the total <laughs> well, amount of money is. But, but this is really why he has the excuse for never getting to AGI because yeah. he's going to say, "I don't have enough money." Yeah. It wasn't enough money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the ultimate out. He can't lose. <laughs> yeah, I, he just. He, I guess his idea of AGI is to hire enough humans to answer the phone. <laughs> So I can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with my personal AI rep representative. <laughs> Call it it's just some personal Perfect. call center. It's yeah. great. We just I'll mask all the voices with, yeah. with one of the four voices talking back to you. <laughs> it's really a human you're talking to. That's, a, that's how you do it. That's with seven good. trillion, be easy. Yeah. Hire everyone. Exactly. Just hire half of humanity. Right. Now, I'm sure somebody's <laughs> going to disagree with what we said here. The other half are calling sure. in, the other half yeah. are answering the calls. Um, somebody's def definitely going to disagree with me. So please, if you disagree with me, please leave a comment. Yeah. Um, I'd love to know what your point is. Um, not that I'm, because I'm not against like valid points around these things. Yeah. I'm really not. Like, if somebody wants to educate me on this, please do. And I do I just need to think know. <laughs> in OpenAI and all these other companies, there's some really solid work going on. Like sure. For sure. there's some really smart people that are way smarter than me that are building things that are crazy. Yeah. I just don't yes. know if it's going to make money. Yeah. You're building, but to my analogy before, you're building plastic wings and then selling them as the, 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 the jet airliner. Right. But that's not what you're actually selling. Like you're building something that is cool, but sell it for what it is. Don't, don't make up these like myths around like what you're actually making. Cause I don't think you even believe it. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think they were. If they, you're using ninety percent of their server just to run ChatGPT, what are they using to train AGI with? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. He needs seven trillion, Bobby. You're forgetting. <laughs> it's so, so much money. Two hundred and fifty thousand servers in Azure. <laughs> so like <laughs> so many. Nobody so gave him the seven trillion yet. So while they're working on it, it's just theoretical right now. They just they're just Obviously. thinking it through. Like right. The, okay. Yeah. It's a whiteboard. Yeah. It's a, Whiteboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they use still Microsoft the Loop and just brainstorm it with Copilot, you know? <laughs> we, we should try that. We should, we should go and try and create a board and see if we can brainstorm AGI. <laughs> see it. if it can actually come up with it. <laughs> the ultimate usage. That's what these guys are telling me online. They're saying oh, it's growing man. in smartness, Bobby. You just don't understand. Once it starts learning, it'll feed itself. I'm like, okay. Great. My problem with this is I want to feel like an optimist with this stuff, but I feel like I'm becoming such a pessimist with it. <laughs> I didn't get off your lawn, And I don't want to feel that way. Yeah, I get off my lawn. Yeah, the, but I'm... I don't want to feel that way. I want to feel like it's like the great... I do want it to be the greatest thing ever. Yeah. I just don't think it is. It feels very Wizard of Oz to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, they're just pulling the levers and Sam Altman's back there. The great and powerful eyes. <laughs> Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> no, look. I've hired half of humanity to answer the phone. 